What's up everybody, this is Daxon here at Weaver Family Farm. So lately I've been harvesting a lot of walnuts. Um, today I got about 100 or so pounds uh, that we collected. And the hauling process can be a pain, especially the walnut stain material that's um, in the hole itself and in between the hole and the nut. It's like this black and green uh, material. And this is over a week ago and you can see my hands still light brown. It was almost black. So you really want to make sure to wear rubber gloves. But what I built here is something I just took 20, 30 minutes to throw it together, nothing fancy. Um, and I haven't built something like this before. However, when I get all my walnuts hold, I take that, you know, that outer green layer off, which is the hole of the walnut. I can set them right up on here. And I have these little sides. And these, these sides are just made out of pickets I cut because um, they're really cheap. And I always have some of them on hand. But what they do is they actually are holding the wire in place to the screw it goes right in between um, it basically smashes the wire down in between there and the screw holds it and I've done that all the way around the side just bending the wire under and uh, I still have some more to bend up so it's not sharp but you can see kind of how I did it's sandwiched right there um, and I didn't even use treated lumber these two by fours aren't even treated these are just I had to use two eight foot two by fours to make this whole thing it's like uh, 20 three inches or so in width and just about 20 inches tall you know I'm just using what I have I'm not gonna be cleaning any walnuts today I'm tired and I still have other things I got to get done today it's about supper time and everything it's starting to get dark but um, and I also left a little bit of sag in this wire on purpose um, so that way when I you know dump a bucket of walnuts on here they'll all kind of roll to the middle slightly instead of rolling all to the edges I want as many towards the middle as I can and I should be able to you know stack them a decent amount even if you just do one layer probably the best to clean them and then this is lightweight enough and small enough i can just go like this and if i want to roll them in a different direction or something but i'll definitely come back with uh another part of this video when i actually go to use it and i think it'll work fine i've been using a bucket a five gallon bucket or whatever with holes in the bottom and you know you can only do about 15 or so walnuts at a time if you just want them one level this is wide I should be able to put, you know, a good 75 to 100 walnuts on here at a time, spray them and stuff, and you could build this, you know, however tall you want it, however wide you want it. Um, but I can do a decent amount for, uh, you know, what I have here with the materials and everything. And also, a good thing about this is, with the wire, is this allows you to have it outside. So on bright sunny days, you can leave the walnuts out to cure or dry out, whatever you want to call that process. Um, definitely get them dried out after you get all the, the black, uh, stuff sprayed off of the nuts and then you'll be able to bag them up you know keep them in the shell bag them up put them in the freezer to keep them or whatever but uh let's walk around this for a second show you really simple just four two by four legs some pickets two by fours going around it and just wires sitting on it I'm sure there's all types of ideas but uh i'm always trying to find a way to make things easier instead of using buckets and having to go through you know just a few walnuts at a time i should be able to do a lot more and a lot less handling on them this way and I can stand at a distance hopefully you know back here about five six foot and really spray them good and things like that get all the the uh, walnut stain off of them but like I said I'll come back with another part of this video it won't be today but I'm gonna use my hose and I'll spray some walnuts and you know should be able to go through and this wire should last quite a long time and the moisture can uh, drip down through from washing them make sure wherever you put it I'm not really too concerned up here in the uh, flower bed area we're redoing um, but like on grass I'm not I don't think it'll bother grass but there is some plants that is uh, the juggalone from the walnuts is toxic to and it will kill or seriously injure those plants so be careful where that liquid goes or wherever you dump it but that's it for this part and uh, I'll come back and edit this video when I have another part see you later for now so here I dumped uh, it's about a five gallon bucket of walnuts out here some of them I still got to pick through as I was in a rush to pick them up. But uh, I can start spraying them and also being out here in the sun, uh, really get them dried out and those holes should start falling off and and uh, things like that. So uh, I can take my hose. we really be able to start cleaning them. And like I said, this is a, yesterday, this is my first time using this. You can see like that one, I don't know how good you can see it, but it's taking the outside of the hole right off. Uh, using a power washer, I do think would be a lot better, but I don't really want to get it out right now. Um, <clears throat> I 
be able to spray off as much of the junk as possible with the hole. And then be able to clean them off. All that nasty crap just flowing on through. It'd be good for them to be able to dry out here in the sun, like I said. That's pretty much uh, about the idea I really need to go through, and I need to take the holes off the ones that are really green, get them out, and uh, you know, let them set out here, and then I can spray them off real good. But I think this will do its purpose. It'd be nicer to have one quite a bit bigger. Like I said, this is about a five gallon bucket right here. There's probably, uh, I don't know, 75 nuts or something like that. Walnuts, but thanks for watching. See you later, buddy. All right, so I just got done holing, uh, de holing the walnuts. Uh, had my gloves on, and some of them I had to use a knife for. However, the ones that are still really, really green and fresh, leave them right there. If there's enough black getting on them for the, the ripeness, I was able to pull them out. But I use this knife and I can kind of slice around the ones that are not, but I'm going to wash that too. This is, besides these 25 or so right here, this is what I got from two five gallon bucks. It's, there's probably, I don't know, 150 or so if I had to guess. And now this will be my moment of truth with my, uh, see how good this thing cleans, which it should do good because I've been doing it pretty much the same way, only using a bucket with a hole in it. But, uh, Yeah, look at all that black crap coming down through there. Get them clean, nice and good. But I'm not going to stand here and video the whole thing. Um, I'm just going to clean all these off as good as I can. You can see the coming out good. And I can let them set out here and dry their air kit up onto the bottom since the bottom wire and the sun can heat them up here on top and dry them out nice and good for a few days or a week or whatever and then I can, once I get them all clean, I can put them in the freezer and that's that. Thanks for watching. You could use a power washer if you want to get more off, but once these dry will be pretty good.